I worked with Staff Sergeant Daniel Wagner at a combat outpost near Bakuba, Iraq in the winter of 2007. He worked around the clock to help rewire a broken down radio and TV station. Sergeant Wagner befriended all of the journalists he served to protect. And when he wasn't working, he was playing with three-year-old Lubna. How are you? He helped Iraqi journalists, Shia and Sunni, get on the air to talk about peace, reconciliation, democracy, and freedom. Unlike what you'd ever hear in the U.S. news, these Iraqis loved Americans. And they loved Sergeant Wagner. When they got here, Paris in Iraq, all the people of Iraq, all the people of Iraq welcomed them because the Americans' troops come here and get rid of Saddam and uh, bring freedom and democracy for this country which suffered a lot before. They came here to help. During this, his second tour in Iraq, Sergeant Wagner was killed by an IED last September. Nine months after his death, Wagner's parents held a benefit for Daniel's three-year-old daughter, Diana. Patriot Guard riders circled the track in honor of the hometown boy who ran track and was ranked statewide in the 440 and 880. When Terry was killed, um, news got out and Patriot Guard was there to show the community support for this family and their loss. And I want those boys honored whichever way they come home. Played and a few kids enjoyed the moon bounce as Daniel's father worked the hot dog grill, his eyes occasionally scanning the football field for the crowd that never came. Sergeant Rob Jones worked with us in Iraq, and he was Daniel's best Robert friend. My name is Robert Jones. I'm a staff sergeant in the United States Army. And my best friend was Sergeant Wagoneer, Daniel. And Paul McCallops um, works with a charity called No Greater Sacrifice. They have a website, No Greater Sacrifice. And even though only 33 people came to the stadium that day, hundreds more came through our charity, No Greater Sacrifice. When we announced that No Greater Sacrifice would pay for all of Diana's college education, is we're funding for Diana a $25,000 scholarship. Sergeant Wagner's father was overcome with emotion, not because of our charity, but because his son's sacrifice was not forgotten. You know, it was only nine months ago that Daniel was killed by an IED in Iraq. Hundreds and hundreds of people came to his funeral. And today, nine months later, less than 35 people came to the benefit for his three-year-old daughter, Diana. It's not that people don't care. It's that people are busy. But we cannot ever forget the children of the fallen. Please make a donation to NoGreaterSacrifice.org so that we can send every child of every soldier who paid the ultimate sacrifice to send them to college. The last time I saw Daniel, he was holding Lubna and waving goodbye to my helicopter in the Iraqi desert. Hi, baby. How are you? Oh, the wrong foot. Today, no greater sacrifice is holding his daughter. Well, this is Diana. Diana, this is your party, isn't it?